Today's video is on a very important and special topic and it's about learning to love and validate and approve of ourselves. And this is important because this is life and we want to feel like we are powerful beings that can affect change in our lives and have the things that we want and be happy because we choose to. But before all of that can happen, we have to acknowledge that we deserve to be happy and that we deserve the best and that we approve of ourselves and that we, we invite good things into our life, that we invite and allow a happy, joyful life and whatever that means for you. It goes to the sense of worthiness. If that depends on external factors, then the reality is that those external factors, people and circumstances, but mostly people, because this is how we are validated typically, people's opinions change. People change their mind. People have moods, you know, we all have moods. We, we, want, we can feel good one moment and then perhaps we ate something that makes us feel bad. You know, you never know what's going on inside someone's head. People's energies change. We change over time, we evolve. Some people grow apart, some people grow together. So the reality is that we cannot depend on others for our sense of worthiness. And this is really tricky and yet so vital and fundamental to individual, to personal well-being. And if this is an area that you've been wishing to improve or where you feel like you are ready and poised to take it to the next level where you are in total control of your self-approval and self-validation, where you are a self-sustaining master of your own emotions and your quality of life, then there are ways to enhance it. Just affirm on a regular basis in the morning and at night, I approve of myself. I validate myself. I set my own standards of beauty, of excellence, of success. I am happy with myself. I am getting better and better every day. These are affirmations and some of they come from different teachers, Louise Hay, um, also uh, affirmations that you can easily find online. So affirmations is a very important tool. Over time, you will believe it more, you will feel it more, and you will just naturally have those thoughts during the day when you're at work, when you're at home, um, when you have any kind of dip in your self-esteem or your self-confidence, you just remind yourself, hey, I approve of myself. I set my own standards of whatever it is that you are feeling a bit um, uh, unsure of or where you feel like somebody made a criticism, well, remind yourself, I approve of myself, I validate myself, and that is more than enough. Another tip is to um, employ a NLP technique, which is the circle of excellence. It's more of an exercise, and it's used usually for presentations, when you want to boost your self-esteem, it's called the circle of excellence. However, you can use it as a tool where you set yourself in an imaginary center of a circle and you close your eyes and you see yourself facing or being surrounded by your audience. But in this case, see yourself surrounded by the people who love you, by people who care about you, who support you, nice people, kind people, friendly people. They don't have to be very close or intimate connections. They could just be nice people that you typically smile at, greet nicely, you don't have any dramas with. Um, and just close your eyes and visualize your own circle of excellence where you are being uh, applauded by everyone and, and every nice thing that they've ever said about you, you remember that and you bring it to mind. And practice that for a few minutes on a daily basis. And or just right now, I'm sure your, your mind can just imagine those people in your life and they automatically say those beautiful loving things to you your strengths and your your achievements all those wonderful things 
So practice that as an exercise. Meditate on the things that you do well and you know, your strengths. Think about your strengths. Make a list of your strengths or your talents. What are you good at? Where are you skilled or gifted or what do people compliment you on the most? Now that's tricky because then that's coming from other people. But if there's truth in it, then hey, that's all you. Those are your strong qualities and you're more than enough. So just meditate on those things and that will remind you that you are great and that you have wonderful qualities and thus you can approve of yourself. You know, it's like if you have to have the permission, then allow yourself to give yourself that approval. And then now the key is to harness that energy and momentum by creating that for your own self. Is like, hey, when you're doing a job or where when you're doing a task, compliment yourself on what you did well. You know, if you go to the gym on a regular basis, compliment yourself on what you did, uh, that you actually went and that you um, take care of your family or that you go to work on a regular basis, that you're a responsible person. Compliment yourself and, and pat your own self on the back. Another thing that's very important is to always do your best in the things that matter to you. That is, for instance, at work, this is very important because we always want approval and validation from our managers and we don't always get it. So how can you be happier? Well, approve of your own work, but do your best first and foremost. Put your best foot forward. Really, you know, do what is at your maximum, what you feel is your aligned action and if things don't go well, well, hey, you did your best. You put positive energy into it. You didn't criticize. You didn't complain. You didn't negatively speak about anyone, about your boss or your colleagues. You just did the best that you could. You put your best foot forward. You put your best energy forward to um, speak with that person or to deal with a, a, a difficult um, peer, a difficult person. You did your very best. And that can give you peace of mind because, because then you can approve of yourself. If you have a critical boss, well then say hey to yourself. Um, just acknowledge to yourself, I did my best and that's more than enough. I'm happy with my work and tomorrow is another day. And we can't make everyone happy, but I can approve of myself. You can validate yourself. So remember that. Um, so that's, that's it for now. Those are some major tips that if you actually do them, they will definitely boost your self-esteem, your confidence, your peace of mind, your inner balance, well-being, personal happiness, personal satisfaction, and it will take your life to new levels of excellence, of joyfulness, and more loving and positive relationships, starting with yourself. So that's it for now. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful life and I will see you next time. Bye.